Hey, g'day guys, it's Calvin from the Cartoon Company in New Zealand. There's several different oil filter housings for one UZ. And not, of them, not all of them suit different chassis. So I offer a really simple solution when you need a filter housing that's going to fit nice and tight into some of these chassis. Also particularly good for jet boats. They're made by a local company. And for the automotive field, they're only available exclusively through my business. I've got a bit of a deal with the man. I've been selling them uh, to the automotive side for a long, long time. So let's have a quick look and get it fitted up and see how it comes out. So today we're going to be changing out this uh, 3UZ oil filter housing. And we're going to be swapping it for this unit here. Very simple. Billet aluminium. Bolt straight on. Nice and simple. Let's get into it. So when these arrive, they don't have the fitting in here. So we'll just go to the bench with the housing off. Unscrew the fitting. I'll give it a quick clean. Right, that's nipped up. Pop the O-rings in. If you want to, you can use a bit of uh, like Loctite 518 is a, a good product, but just a little tiny bit and just run around the outside of those O-rings if you want. I am, however, just going to pop a little bit of Loctite on each of these, the bolts. Be careful to make sure that the the ceiling washer is in place. Right, let's get rid of this old housing. That housing's out of the way. The O-ring out of the way. Clean and a wipe. And you'll see if you go to put that on there, that the, the stud is going to cause us an issue. So I'm whipping the stud out. And normally we'd also use the insert out of the original filter housing. That insert, uh, the threaded insert is a 27 millimeter. So now I'll just sit this housing into place. Confirm, before you put it on, generally confirm those O-rings are sitting nicely. So we screw each of the Allen key bolts in. Ensure the fiber washer, or the nylon washer, is on the one that goes in the, in the center hole. And I'm gonna reuse the earth stud for the bottom. Tighten everything up appropriately. That's looking pretty good. Refit the oil pressure sender. Whether you're using a switch or a sender or whatever unit you're fitting. This one's getting a pressure sensor. It's going into a race car. And that's going to be the only sensor that's going to run to the ECU. And I'm putting this on so I've got the exact unit that the race car has got on it. With sealant on the blanking plug, that can be screwed in. And refit an oil filter to it. I'm using a little short oil filter on this particular one. And I've, of course, lubricated that surface. Wipe the excess sealant off. And there we go. Filter housing swapped. So the overall extension, that's just over 70 millimeters, it sticks out.
like 72 millimeters. And it comes forward with a short oil filter. It's behind uh, the crankshaft. So that's one really simple solution I have for oil filters and oil filter housings. And it's nice and neat and tidy and I use a lot of them. So I hope that's helpful and we'll talk to you again soon.